Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be going over something really important and something that you guys have all been asking for for quite a while now. We are going to be covering reload for our rifle. Now this reload system is going to be very basic for now, it's currently not going to have animations, that's something we're going to do in one of the next videos. Um, but what we are going to get set up is the key binding, so when you press R it it's going to pretty much give you a bit more ammo into your little clip. Now you can see your first clip in the left hand side in my viewport here. We're also going to be adding another piece of text on there for max ammo and whenever you press R it's going to take away 25 of your ammo from the uh, from the max clip and then put it into your new one and also it's going to be the realistic way of doing reloading so whatever's in your current clip when you reload it's going to be lost um, which is really cool so each time it's going to take out 25 and it's just going to get the player thinking a little bit more about when they should reload but more importantly let's get straight into the business and start working on some of the blueprints so what we do want to do before we can go anywhere with this reload system is we need to open up our weapon blueprint so for me that's blueprints ak-47 and then weapon and underscore base inside of here I need to create a couple of extra blueprints uh, not blueprints but variables now the variables that I'm going to need is the clip size um, which is pretty much going to be how big the clip is so that's 25 and this isn't really going to change and then we're also going to need the max ammo and then the current clip now we've already got the current clip here which is ammo all we're going to do is add a new variable and just call this uh, max ammo and then the next one that we're going to create is going to be called clip size just like that and we're going to set the variable type for both of these to integers as we're not really going to have any decimal values for this. So what we need to do now then with uh, this is we need to create a blueprint function. So this blueprint function is going to be something that's going to be called every time that the player presses the R key. So what we're going to do is create a new function so go over to functions, add a new one and just call it simply reload and you can see me typing it in on the left hand side over here. And hopefully this should update. And then from here what we're going to do then, first things first before any reloading is done is I actually want to check to see whether or not the player has a full clip. So basically what I'm going to be doing now is checking to see whether or not, so one second, so it's checking to see whether or not the clip size is equal to the current ammo. However, if I was to do that, you can see at the moment, if I compile this, the clip size has got no information in there. So this is where we're going to be defining how big the clip is going to be. So generally, what we're going to want this to be is set this to something like, say, let's just go with 25 for now and whatever your clip size is you also want to set your default ammo um, to 25 as well so that's just sort of going to be your first clip so we've done that and also our max value um, for max ammo we're going to set this to something like 100 so that way they get four extra rounds inside of there which is all good so anyway important thing on what we're looking to do is checking to see whether or not the float is equal to another float, not float, sorry, integer is equal to another one. So integer is equal. And what we're doing here is pretty much checking to see whether or not ammo is you know equal to clip size. So this is pretty much just going to stop the player wasting some of their um, you know ammo by you know just trying to reload when they've got a full clip, which is not something that we want to do. So basically from this, if it is equal, going off to true we don't want it to do anything, whereas if it's false, we're going to tell it to do, you know, some other stuff. So the next bit that we're going to do then from that is we're going to run a check. And what we're going to check to see if, pretty much check to see if max ammo is greater than our clip size. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to see that, to see if, you know, I can simply just add clip size to the current ammo and then just do it that way, the simple way. So let me see if I can just put this in here and hopefully then I can explain it a little bit better to you. So what I'm going to be doing once again is condition and then this time it's integer greater than integer and then from this what I'm doing is getting my max ammo and I'm checking to see if my max ammo is greater than my clip size because if, it, if my max ammo is greater than my clip size I simply just take away 
25 or my clip size from my max ammo and put it into the good stuff it's really simple so dragging this out so if it isn't equal to it what we're gonna do is simply set ammo and then we are just gonna do uh, set this equal to max ammo so get a reference to that and hook it up so what this is doing basically if it isn't equal and we can't just add clip size into max ammo we are just going to take whatever value there is and just add it on pretty much and then once it's done that so after it's taken the max ammo and put it into the ammo we are going to set our ammo now sorry set our max ammo and then we are just going to set this equal to zero just like that so don't worry if you don't understand this 100% right now. It will be a lot clearer once we have all of our blueprints in here. So going from true, we are going to set clip one or set ammo even, set ammo. And then we are just going to set this equal to clip size because we do know here that we do have enough ammo in the max ammo, which is something we've just checked for. And then after that, we are simply going to set max ammo to integer minus integer and then what we're doing here is simply max ammo and then clip size so what this will have just done if there is essentially enough ammo to f get a full clip inside of your max ammo if there is it's going to go up and it's going to set your ammo equal to the clip size and then once it's done that, it's going to take away that clip size from the max ammo, so it sort of depletes your ammo. If you don't have enough to add a full clip into the system, what it's going to do is simply take the max ammo that you've got left, so whether that's 10, 20, or whatever it is, it's just going to chuck it straight into your ammo and then set your max ammo down to zero. And hopefully you guys should be able to sort of understand that. Just go through it and read it a couple of times and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, before I do test this system, I want to get the other value on the screen on the left hand side for max ammo. Because at the moment we have nothing and we don't really have a way of testing this system. So what I'm going to do quickly is go to my blueprints, go to my FBS HUD and I'm going to add on another text block. So I'm going to get the initial one and I'm just going to make this a little bit a little bit tidier just set the text to zero zero. Don't worry about it, you know, going off because it's key bound, it's not key bound, but it's bound to something else to a variable so it's going to be live anyway. And then with the second one, do the same thing here, but I'm going to make the text smaller, so just turn down that font size a bit just so I know which one's the max and the minimum and the current and all that good stuff. I'm just going to chuck it here and then with this what I'm going to do is simply do exactly what I did here for this. So if I open up this function real quick I'll show you exactly what I did to get the value. So if we get text I'm pretty much just going to copy and paste all of this. So copy and then over on my design view over here create a binding and then if you wanted to, you could just paste it in. And then that's it. So if we hook this up now, chuck it in there. And then if we get rid of this return node and hook it into this one, that should be fine. And then this time, because we're not trying to get ammo, we're just going to replace this and get the max ammo instead, as that's the one that we're looking to get. And just hook this up into your value just like that. And then once you've done that, compile it, press play, and hopefully now you should see that we have 100 in the max ammo and 25 in the current clip. If you can't see it, you just need to scale this a little bit for three numbers. And then if we press play again, we should be able to see this. And now what's going to happen if I press R, it's going to do nothing. And there's a good reason why it's not going to do nothing is because we haven't actually set our key binding. So what I need to do actually is type in reload inside of my third person character from this. What I'm going to do is get a reference to my equipped weapon and then just simply type in reload. And then I'm just going to hook this up just like that into the pressed. So going back into the game now, if I press R, you can see it's doing nothing because I've got a full clip already. If I shoot a couple of times, you're going to see my ammo count goes down. And that's all good. 
and then if I press R it's going to take 25 away from my max ammo and then just give me a whole new clip which is brilliant and I can continue to go through these and keep reloading as many times as I need to and if I wanted to I can get all the way down to zero and that's all good. So. That is pretty much everything for our basic reloading system. I hope you guys have, you know, have enjoyed it as much as I have. If you guys had any trouble, any issues following along, make sure you just slow down with the video, go through it again, and just read through the blueprints. Try and explain it to yourself using the variables, and hopefully you, should, you guys should understand exactly what happened. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep curating. The boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.